Hi guys, this is Peter Hill Explains, where we enter into a conversation about science and teaching. This time it's going to be about teaching, and I'm going to guide you through how you actually um, find Celestia. I've had it many years on computers, I've downloaded it heaps of times onto school computers. Each year they come over and cleanse the school computers, and then you have to apply a game to get them installed. But I recommend if you've got a friendly software person, just make sure that it's rolled out in the image of all computers. So Celestia is free software. You download Celestia, a Celestia download source forge. Takes you to this page. And you hit that download button. Uh, and uh, away, you, away you go. It's at the last date. 2016, which is easily what I've got here. I've already done this, so I'm just going to go down here and type Celestia. So this will show you up here as it's downloading here. So what we're going to do is I'll just take you on a very, very quick tour and uh, we'll do a bit of uh, walking around the Universe. So here you've got up here Earth. So if you say press two, will take you to Venus. G will take you to Venus. I've got those three orbits across. I can actually speed up time by pressing L. See L time, right? It's not showing too much for Venus, but if we go back to Earth, for instance, go to Earth. And with your mouse key go around, you can see the moon at uh, 10 times the Earth um, circumference out there is the moon at 40,000 uh, kilometers away. And you've got various other pictures here. I'm going to speed up time a bit more. You can see the moon begin to orbit. And what we can do is we can. Um, so with your left mouse, you can change where you're looking at, but you can actually rotate around with your right mouse, pull across like that, and you can see the Earth. You can see the Earth rotating, and the Moon just moving around here. This is with my mouse click. I'm moving further and further away, and what I can do is I can press I think zero takes you to the Sun. Uh, T tracks it to the, get the sun again, so I press T again. I don't quite understand what happened there, but um, you can. Oh, it's track there, so that's I press go to go to the sun. Okay, by pressing the right mouse. We can go above the solar system. Um, now, I just have to get myself out here. So we can go further and further out. The Neptune orbit that's away from it. So I think uh, we're in the, um, uh, looking at the Northern Hemisphere. The Southern Hemisphere is something that I know too well. So Ursula Minor, that's, that's the Northern Hemisphere, that's there. And I'm just trying to see things that I... Canopus is definitely a star. See Canopus up there, the second brightest star in the sky. It will have the brightest star. But, uh, ah, there's a Southern Cross. I'm trying to look for the Southern Cross. So the South Celestial Pole is going to be there, and let's see if we can actually um, see there. So the Southern Cross, the point is all actually out over here. So I just have to look for uh, the uh, pointers. So to get to the pointers, I just go. Oh, here's here's the pointer. I just send the pointer over here. 
So that's a pointer. And it's, it's another star that's Alpha Centauri over here. That's the name for Alpha Centauri over here. And yep, I'm just trying to look at the uh, other star for Alpha Centauri. So this is the Southern Cross. And that's Alpha Centauri. There should be another star around here for uh, the pointers. This should be another star going up, up here. Let's see if I can get the other star of the pointer. It's Enter H A it's R N H A R No, I'll have to to stop. I really can't remember the name of the other the other star. It's not this one here. The genius doesn't that doesn't look like it. Can we cross it for it here? So that's the southern cross. So it's the southern cross there. Oops. Um, and now, if I go, um, if I keep on going further and further away, further away, you can see that this is the parallax effect up, up around here. So I'm moving further and further away. And this is the fact that these are showing the uh, Constellations, but not in, in three dimensions. So we see it in two dimensions, but this is in three dimensions. Look, here's a star. The further star away that we can see is this one here. I'll just see what that one is. Just click on it. A star called Cam. I don't know what it is in terms of. Um, it's a fairly hot star. Um, its luminosity is much times bigger. Its absolute magnitude. Um, the apparent magnitude is quite dim. Its absolute magnitude is uh, quite bright. It's minus seven, so it's a it's a blue giant. And we'll just keep on going further away because what we really want to do is actually orient ourselves such that the, you can see the center of the galaxy go further back. You can see the center of the galaxy is there, so. Sand for galaxy is there. So we want to let's see that that there which is the center of the galaxy. And then um, we uh us H what takes home. I'll take it take it down to Earth. No, I think we have to go in place before this begins to work. No, it's okay, we've got the keep on going there. The soul again. So we're going to see what's at the back, the back of the galaxy. Um, so let's look what's around here, the back of the galaxy here. Um, So this is um, Scorpio. Scorpio over here. And the center of the galaxy is just underneath Sagittarius. In Scorpio there's Antares, the big red sky. So the center of the galaxy, uh, I was always told, is in the southern hemisphere. So if we look again, Libra Hercules, that's the Northern Hemisphere. Ishamaya, the Southern Hemisphere. The Southern Cross. And there's the, uh, the center of the galaxy. So the center of the galaxy rotates um, around, around us. So we're, that's our orientation. So we're spinning like a flat disk rushing through the galaxy. So we're rushing in that direction. The galaxy is over there. And uh, all the bright stars, as I can say, are uh, down here. There's Cooks again. And, uh, oh yes, I can see it here again. These are the two pointers 
at Southern Cross. So um, that's the Southern Cross, and it's the Pontus, that's Alpha Centauri, the new one. It's something called a gene, I don't know why I put it H, H and R, for some reason I didn't see it last time, I wonder why. That's, that's why I didn't see it. So you can go like that, Southern Cross. So if you do um, along here and do drop a point around here, that is, if you look around here, that's supposed to be a position around here. Is supposed to be where the actual south celestial pole is. So if we actually do that, that is actually not too bad. South celestial pole. So we go across right here. We'll speed up time so you can see that I'm not. Oh no. I'm pressing up the speed and see that. So that's the south, south pole, so that's real pole. I'm looking at the uh, point southern cross, first and cross there, and you put the perpendicular. So around here is the south of the pole. The reasonable uh, approximation is the south celestial pole. Again, if we go back out here. Looking for uh, for the center of the galaxy, which we said was around here. Go back out again. See it's going across. I've got the sand of the galaxy in that section there. So this is what they think the whole galaxy looks like. And you see the Magellanic clouds around here. So these are the Magellanic clouds. That must be a, 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 yeah, some sort of cluster. And if we go far enough out, we should be able to see. Um, that's probably Andromeda around there. Let's check what that one's called. Yeah, it's Andromeda. Uh, M31. And here, now this is an interesting thing, if you have a, have a look at that. It's again the Milky Way, I don't know why it's called. Sagittarius. And I'll go to that one. Yep. Okay, thanks a lot for looking. That's basically getting around the place. I'll just uh, go. Um, I think you should be able to go escape H. It takes us to the sun. And uh, obviously things are going very fast there. For some reason it's lost the um, things. But let's go to Saturn, uh, Jupiter, Saturn. That's an opening and we'll just slow down a bit. It's the orbits in, orbits out. And you can see the various moons uh, orbiting Saturn. And go in and see the various moons if you want to. Thanks for listening. I hope this has been worthwhile.